right guys, we got a new piece of equipment for the shop. Um, I'm gonna buy up a bunch of equipment before the end of the year and try to get tooled up. So what I bought was a uh, old school CNC mill, like late 80s, early 90s technology. Someday down the road I'll do a retrofit, but for now the CNC works and it's also just NC and manual control. Uh, it weighs a lot. I, I read there's different um, types of models, but basically it's in between 4,500 and 3,200 pounds. And uh, it's a big knee mill. Um, it's got boxed ways. Um, it's on the trailer. It was really hard to get in here. I was going to rent a forklift, but one guy quoted me 600 and then... He changed that to 400 and then another guy quoted me 210 and I just don't want to spend the 210. I think I can get it off without it. So basically we're just going to skid it along these 4x4s. Four uh, I haven't quite worked out some sort of PVC sort of deal. And then I don't want the trailer up really high like it is now. It's about 9 inches up. And so this morning I came out and dug these holes for the tires. So I'll be able to drop the trailer down pretty much even with the ground so it's a big mill it's barely going to fit in the door on the ground so anyways uh there i'm sure there's a crap load of you that'll just think i'm insane or you know you'll have your various comments but this is the way i'm choosing to do it i'm also sweating like a pig because i just got done digging so anyways this is what we're going to do i got matching holes on both sides i'm going to pull it forward and see how close i can get it to the ground and then start inching it forward. We'll see how it goes. Alright guys, so my original idea was to block the trailer up, get the machine out on a set of blocks, and then pull the trailer out from under it. But then, <coughs> as with a lot of my half-baked ideas, I realized the trailer would flex so much it could pop the trailer off the tongue and we'd be bad. So then, I blocked it up and then I realized I'm too close to the door. You know, once the trailer's blocked, it won't move. So I got to make the space for the machine, pull the trailer out to that space, and then get it off the trailer. And then I realized just now that the axles are going to hit before the tires go down all the way. So I filled in the holes a little bit. We'll see. It'll probably still bottom out and be a mess, but get back to you. All right, somehow my half-baked idea worked. So now the back of the trailer is basically resting on the ground. And it should be a lot easier to get this thing out of here. Yeah, I don't know how close this is down in here. I know there's the suspension and then I don't even know what you guys can see, but uh, it's a uh, low trailer. Anyways, uh, there's those two tires, and that's it. All right, guys, um, I moved it about two feet, and then my back is hurting me because I'm using a digging bar. Uh, in fact, I'll just show you real quick. So I was using that little piece of wood there. You can see all the marks on it so it wouldn't so it wouldn't slip on the steel. And then uh, where's my digging bar at? Uh, basically, I was pivoting on that end to move it forward. Well, I moved it forward a good two to three feet, but I'm tired. And so here's the... You guys know what a digging bar is, hopefully. Digging bar. So now I got to set up. I got the, I had to get that off of my uh, gantry and I drilled a hole and put a 5 8 bolt in the concrete. So uh, I'll show you the setup from back here. Basically, this is what we're going to try next. So uh, just a second. You cut it to now, basically, because all this is filler garbage. So 
I want to cut the video to about here. Yeah, I'll, I'll take care of that part. All right, pull number one. That's way, Ooh, way uh, tight. I don't want to be, I'm back in You the... go over there. Are you ready? Yeah. Nope. Not doing it? Nope. So I think I gotta put it on the pipe and I gotta get this thing. This thing's all kinds of wackadoodle. Uh -huh. I'm gonna turn this off, I guess. Yes? Yeah, yeah. Why is it so it's turning? Am I filming you? Mm-hmm. All right, guys. Wait, no, no, no. Mm, um, no. Oh, yeah, we should probably wait. That's... <laughs> Just a second. Oh, I gotta pee so bad. Wow, this thing is laggy. I don't know why. Talk trash about my phone. All right. Wait, uh, get a little less junk, okay. All right, guys, so um, I've got this um, triple uh, pulling, so it's got three times the pulling power. It actually bent the bracket. You can take a top view of that. Um, I ended up having to put a pipe underneath it like I was doing originally because it just won't roll without it. All right, so, and I'm staying clear of the death zone here. Look how deformed that, pot, that tube it is. What do you mean? It's like, oh. I gotta get another one in here. Have you said what wall this is? Um, oh yeah, that's, uh, so that, Tell what both of them are. That PVC is Schedule 80, three quarter inch. The white stuff is Schedule 40. All right, let's see if that'll feed under there. The back one popped out. Yep, that's exactly what I wanted it to do. Okay. How much further do you want to go? Right to the Just end. Just until and then, it stops. Yeah. Hold on, this thing. Exactly. All right. Heading to the end here. And then we'll jack it up and set it down. Sorry, I just don't want to be in the... Whoa. I think that's probably good. Yep. Alrighty, now we're gonna... Show them this because this is kind of important. I just want to show them that it's not egg shaped. It is bent, but it's not really. So guys, what I'm doing here is just taking the pressure off the tubes. We'll get them out. That one's not quite loose. And then what we'll do, I'll position these boards where I want them. Positioning that one. Uh, you know what I'll do. You know what I'll do. We'll just move the machine over to where we want it, since I can't move that board. That was a lot. Wait, you're going over over here now. I know. I'm gonna reposition that one too. Man, I can't believe that's flexing that diamond plate. That's insane. Huh? It's flexing the diamond plate. There we go. 
let it down with the floor jack. Oh. Happy days are here again. All right. Yeah, quite the jank setup. So it's working. Uh, you know, it's not pretty, but it's not $210 either. So this is my risk tolerance. You have yours. Talk to you guys in a bit. All right, guys. Back at it again this morning. Um, got everything in the shop cleaned out. <clears throat> put it on wide and you can see my idea is that it's going to go over here maybe got to get all that stuff cleaned out still um got it on some harbor freight casters they don't roll worth a crap but they are working except i see that one's off the ground so i gotta fix that uh yeah so just putting along here um just took it real slow yesterday, didn't end, end up getting done until like 6 or 7 or something. So, going to move this over there and see how it fits in that spot.